Yeah, it's cool, it's cool. All right. 30 seconds? All right, okay. 25, 25, 30 now. Yeah. Woof, okay. All right, guys. We are here, we are here. Welcome to the Escape Go Masters qualification. This just took way too long, but we're here with Mem for uh, Bullet versus Leary. And um, oh, I've been so ready for this game for so long now. It, it's finally happening, Mem. It's finally happening. And that is possible? That is happening, really? In Bog Island? And welcome everyone, <laughs> welcome everyone to Twitch, to YouTube, in the future, right? Because we can read the future to everyone. <laughs> Bullet with purple and Mongols. And Leary with Teal and Mongols as well. They choose the same civilization. This map, we have seen this already. We are getting familiar to this one. And, uh, well, it's really, really different. Probably a standard. You have three Rhinos, like it's, uh, like the Boars, with a bit more food. But not so hmm. much wood. The wood in that area, like uh, similar to water, but no, it's, it can go through all the galleys <coughs> and also all the infantry and military, uh, military and villagers. So let's see, this map is, is extremely complicated to play, in my opinion. Yeah, this map is one of those maps where you, you just have to have such a different playstyle to normal. There's different game mechanics coming into play. The fact that, like you say, you can travel on this amphibious terrain with land and water units. You can build on this. You know, you have to build walls to keep ships out. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's what you got to do. And these guys are probably not very used to uh, these kind of situations. So it's going to be an interesting game. The fact that they're both playing Mongols, we were talking about this before. We were saying it's a bit of a comfort pick, I think. Um, neither player too familiar with the new civilizations. And they both banned out the Aztecs, the Huns, and the Britons, which means that there's only one old civ left, and that's the Mongols, which they both picked. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> we'll see how this one goes. And like you said, the food on this map is quite abundant. You've got the three rhino with 400 food each. There's a total of 1,200 food right here. That's a lot of food available. You've got the water buffalo with 150 food each, which is more than your sheep, which would only have 100. And there's quite a few extra water buffalo around as well. So food is no problem on this map. And it opens up a lot of opportunities to do things like a fast castle. It opens up opportunities to do like a fast, super fast feudal and get really aggressive. But then you've also got the water in the middle of the map as well, which it looks like Leary here might just be docking any second now yeah, waiting for that quiet. one remaining wood yeah. <laughs> he's one away there you go he's and uh, that allows players to build fishing ships and take the big fish in the center as well so plenty of food on this map i was i was uh, yesterday checking hd and i know that leary has been practicing because i saw him playing in, in hd actually i was checking all the all the lobbies and and i saw I saw him hosting, so he has been practicing. Mm. I don't know how many times he has played this map, but uh, if he uh, was practicing, probably he was checking all the maps. Actually, you can see how he's doing the dog. He has five villages on wood, so the build order is exactly what he, it should be right now. And I'm really, really concerned about what strategy they will pick, like you said. If they will go for mm. early aggression or, or fast castle. I really think that going fast castle can be good, can be strong because this is my, uh, Mongols, but it's also really really dangerous because you can make with from water a lot of damage here and if you lose the control i don't know man i, I will go for for feudal fight i don't know what well, the major thinking. difference what well, yeah the major difference i'm seeing oh right sorry here is... sorry he's lamin arena he's lamin arena yeah. bullet wow okay there he's you go no, Arino, it's man. come back it's come back he's not oh. got it I, I mean nice try i mean who wouldn't want to have a fourth rhinoceros? I mean, seriously, they. I was just about to say, let's not forget they're playing the Mongols. That hunt bonus is coming into effect. And Bullet right here is taking his third rhino already, and it's getting eaten extremely quickly thanks to the hunt bonus. The big difference I'm seeing is that Bullet, no dog, all on food, loads of food coming in really fast. And Leary, on the other hand, has a dock, two ships out. And he's on the way up to the feudal age already, whilst somehow Bullet still hasn't clicked up yet. Oh man, Lear is on the way to feudal age already with 21 yeah, population man. and also a dock. So that means that he's up mm. like, well, 18 villages. 18 villages, the scout and those fishing ships. Yeah. All right. Bullet's on the same population, but he hasn't got the two fishing ships. He's building his dock now. And I mean, let's see how he, where he goes from here. I mean, this is the thing. This map has so many different kind of strategies that you can do he's actually building a mill here next to his tc because he couldn't which, go up 
Yeah, because he, he can he click up. He didn't have the buildings. He couldn't click up, he, man. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You you get a little bit too confident in all this food coming in. You think, yeah, this is gonna be so fast. This is gonna be so quick. And it's like, oh, yeah, I need two two buildings. Oh, um, well, here's a mill. I'll, I'll throw that up real quick. So yeah, that kind of slowed him down a little bit, and that could actually cost him quite a lot here, as uh, Leary scouts this dock. And we'll have the uh, faster upgrade as well as the second dock comes up back at home. But I don't understand this. I mean, now he's doing the dock, so he wants to, to go to water. Why you don't why you don't go like Leary did? Because right now he's gonna have uh, no fishing ships, right? He did hmm. also the dock, so he's suspended resources. And Leary already has two dogs who is doing fire galleys already from two dogs. So the advantage for now uh, is, in my opinion, yeah. for Leary, man. Yeah, there's definitely like no stronger unit to make in the feudal age at the start anyway than the fire galley on the water. Like, this is just a, a great choice from Leary to do this. And notice as well at home, Leary hasn't even taken his third boar yet. He's still got three water buffalo underneath his town center. It's all good for Leary. Bullet, on the other hand, he's on the way up to feudal. He's got 600 food in the bank already. He, all of his rhinos are gone. He's got one water buffalo net left. Is he going for water here, or is no. he actually going to switch and do a fast castle? He's doing the barrack, so... But he's doing the barrack, he... but he's not He's not uh, taking gold, so... Yeah, he's got so much food. So much food right now. And it looks like Kuhnville's... He, he would go scout? At the, at the dock, there's no, nothing coming out there. And, you know, you, you have to be on gold if you're planning to go water. There's no trash on the water. Stable coming up. It, it's got to be scouts, surely. Well, it's really weird because you can see how he did the dock, then he did a late fishing ship that is already gone, dead, and he's gonna now stable. Well, scouts here is not the best choice, even even less when you can see how Leary is little by little walling all his base. So if he's walling all his base, he's gonna be completely safe, those scouts are gonna be useless, and with the fire galleys, uh, he get, he's gonna get control of all the map. Yeah. Well, the thing about water units is that they're actually very good against land units because they have a lot more HP, exactly. they have a lot higher HP pool. Um, you know, these fire galleys, they're going to be pretty good actually fighting scouts even. And Bullet's just given up complete map control here as well. I, I feel like he's not really prepared coming into this map. Definitely. And this is one of the most crazy maps in the whole pool. He could have, he could have very easily uh, banned this map, but this is the one that got left over and this is the one that he's now playing and he doesn't seem too prepared for it to be honest um looking at this right side a tower coming up here oh. but that tower and for example in my opinion is yeah. like it's a it's a 125 stone loss why how many how many trees left there exactly like three mm. trees uh, and he will have to remove now uh, he will have to move the the lumber can yeah yeah, there's like five trees left and, and I th you know, it's going to protect his flank a little bit, but that's not really too much of a problem. I think it would have been better for Bullet to put the tower on this left side or the front so that he would have access to all of his gold and, and these uh, wood line on the front here as well. well. So Bullet on the way out with his scouts, he's looking for something, but he's already calling Leary out for being a waller. And well, he is, he's completely walled right yeah, well, now. These scouts Bullet, cannot do Bullet anything. He's doing exactly the same. I mean, he's walling as well True. as much as possible. He's not doing a second tower. He need towers because you can see the population difference is already really big. I mean, in 13 minutes, it's like in 13 minutes, 10 population almost different. Oh, but it's open. There's a hole and the holes oh. change everything, man. Yeah, at the front here. There's, a, there's like, it's just a, a wide open gap in the front yeah, of the Yeah, it's not a face. hole, exactly. It's, it's really big <laughs> gap there. What the hell? Okay, Leary just, just like completely forgetting to close that up. I don't know. Maybe he had to go to the opticians today and forgot his appointment or something. But uh, yeah, Bullet there getting a villager and getting out. Not too bad, but he's still um, incredibly behind due to the lack of water control. And one of the big problems in this game is once you lose the water control, it's so hard to get it back. Oh, wow, he's come back in again. The, st the hole is still there. What the hell? He did well, because there is one tile, one tile that is still <laughs> open. There you go, he's closed it now. Well, will he get another villager there? I mean... No, he didn't kill anything. Surely not. He didn't kill... Oh, but now he's no. gonna kill a villager, maybe? 
Nah, nah, she's no, she's fine. Not. She's fine. Bullet's still got a scout in there, but you know. Oh wait, wait, wait! No, he could he could find the low bill. She's standing there idly. And there's still a hole. There's another hole. Oh, what the <laughs> there, hell, man? You cannot wall this map. <laughs> Bullet could have killed a vill actually. Sloppy play by Leary to send that one out next to the gold and just idle her there. Um, this boat player is looking pretty messy at the moment. This map, uh, not something they're too comfortable with, I feel. Um, Bullet in the chat, like, why this map? Why? Oh, <laughs> funny. Did you play it before? Saying, I was sure. I was sure about that. I yeah, was sure that I you never played that map. But he could—he didn't ban it. The one map he's never played before, he didn't ban. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> anyway, bullet here, still making more towers, which is interesting because I've not seen him gathering much stone. But yeah, he has been on this uh, this one here. It's not really looking too good. He's surrounded. The galleys are coming in from Leary now as well, and he's got fletching, so he has the range to shoot over these buildings. And bullet is basically just getting uh, surrounded. Not good situation for him. In fact, Leary's going to kill a villager building the tower as well. He just keep picking them off. Where the can difference... Bullet go? What can Bullet do here? Not the really a lot. The difference is really, 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 really big. Mm. He's just doing the towers. Even with so many farms, because he has a lot of, a lot of farms, right? He is still behind 300 foot. So he's going to go up faster. He has the towers, yes, but other than that, nothing. And soon, what would he will have to, to take? Not yeah. many, man. Not Wait. many because he can put all the galleys be behind the forest, out of the range of those mm -hmm. towers, and that's it. With those yeah, galleys, exactly. and everything. I mean gonna be tough but bullet here I mean, he's not given up just yet he's still got some fight left in him he could easily go out to the corner of the map it's risky but uh, it's less likely that leary would find him out there and uh yeah bullet here towering up playing defensive seeding a ton of farms and uh leary kind of backing off with his ships for now i think leary's just gonna look for the castle age and there it is he's going up yeah, on the, on the way to Castle Age with 48 population. So if you go up, up Castle Age with 13 population more than your opponent, you have the water control, you are also completely well. You have the market up in case you, you need to balance your economy. You know what the opponent can do. I'm telling you, Zach, sorry, but the only choice for him is Alt F4, man. Because, come on, man, it's crazy big difference. <laughs> crazy big difference. Yeah, no, man. it's I huge. Mean, and also, yeah. of course, Leary has been fishing this time as well. So even though Leary had less farms up compared to Bullet, you, know, you can clearly see Bullet has some extra farms here. This fish have been helping him out to get to the Castle Age a little bit faster. Bullet's clicked up as well. And once he hits the Castle Age, I mean, maybe he can do something here. He is adding in a second stable. He is taking a little bit of uh, gold here, but not really enough for two stable production. He's going to need more bills on, on gold if he wants to actually make two stable knights. But I, I imagine once he hits Castle, he's going to get some knights out and he's going to try and fight. But, uh, you know, it's going to be tough once Leary gets that war galley upgrade. He's going to be able to control the map even more with those boats, and he's clearly got a superior economy <laughs> at this stage as well. <laughs> Go to beep! Uh, in the ship. Go to beep! Well, the thing is, Zach, uh, the good thing for bullets, let's try to, to focus on something positive. And something positive. Yeah. The knights can go really, really fast through the map, and the map is still. Well, now, well, okay, now Leary destroyed my theory. He's walling the wood there. So, I was about like, look at the wood from Leary. It's really exposed, but he's completely walling. Completely walling, so. Yeah, and Bullet saying in the chat, if I could replay this match, which he could have done if he called a re, he could have played differently, but you know, you have to call a re before five minutes anyway, so, you know, uh, it wouldn't really but have made restart, a difference. The but... restart, sorry, the restart for the map too? No, 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 no the map just... would still be the same, okay, the so the it wouldn't same, really okay. make a difference. All he's saying is if he could restart, he would take the water instead. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. probably fair. I mean, I would probably do that as well, and I think Leary agrees. So <laughs> We'll see, but Leary here up to the Castle Age, uh, the dock upgrade coming in for war galley and there it is that means he gets fire ships and war galleys now the pressure's just going to increase some more these towers not so scary when you've got war galleys out although they still do great damage to ships and bullet right now going straight to knights let's see how knights work versus war galleys it's not really the kind of fight you see very often and the problem is the problem is how many knights he can afford 
And he's doing 291 each stable, but look at the goal left, like 92. He's gonna make like three, four nights at the maximum, no more. And he has a lot yeah. of galley, so complicated. Yeah, four or five, well, three or four nights is not gonna be enough. I, I said it earlier, you know, you didn't have enough villagers on gold there. Not really safe to gather gold there either, because the war galleys are just pressuring that from the water. Leary now as well, I mean, he's going to be adding something on the land, and that's going to be the knights as well. And uh, Bullet's like, yeah, water control is everything here. And, I mean, I would agree and disagree. I mean, it depends. I mean, if you if you watch the Viper play this map, he doesn't really go for water control as much as he goes for land. It's kind of like a 50-50 split. Uh, he usually does a fast castle into knights, and it completely catches his opponent off guard. Um... But yeah, I mean, in this case, definitely having water would be a good thing for Bullet right now, and, that's and for sure. And it's also, depending on what civilization, we did civilization models that uh, Lear was super fast up and he got the water mm. that early, yeah, then the water is really important. If he got all the civilization to try to counter, I mean, the way to counter what Lear did, it was Bullet going for fast castle. And you know, the same, yeah, because yeah. actually he went up slower, he did the dock and he tried like going feudal. No, if, if you go, you have to go fast castle. Otherwise, it's what is happening, that is almost easy already. Yeah, well, that was the thing. I mean, when he hit the, the feudal age, he had like 600 food already saved up. So if he'd have made a couple of fish earlier on and done that build order, he could have fast castled it. And then, you know, he could have had his knights out 10 minutes ago and he could have raided Leary with the knights that that's also an alternative strategy here but yeah this is pretty rough right now bullet gonna call gg and you know it's been coming for a little bit a little while um let's also remember though that Leary is uh, an incredibly strong player he would have been a tough opponent on any map but uh, it certainly didn't help that bullet wasn't very prepared for this one and uh you know maybe next time Leary there with quite a convincing victory really well, in this kind of maps, you have to practice. There is a lot of maps that if you don't practice, we are used to, to the same build order. Most of the games that you see mm, daily are Arabia, some standard maps. These maps has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with the, with the standards. Nothing, completely different. Yeah, I mean, they are totally different. It's, it's really difficult for, for players to just adapt to these maps and these, and these kind of situations because, you know, a lot of these guys will have played thousands of games of, of the Conquerors and, you know, they're so used to playing standard settings, I guess. But and have you seen... this kind of throws, throws a spanner in the works, to say the least. Have you seen the time up from Leary in Feudal Age? Eight minutes. Let's have a look. Eight minutes, 55 seconds. It was below nine minutes, so with that time up... Yeah. It's incredibly fast. I mean, that's the thing with this map. I mean, Leary didn't even take his third Rhino as well. I mean, imagine if he'd have taken his third Rhino instead of the Water Buffalo. I think he probably could have shaved another 15 seconds off of that, which is well, insane. Well, they don't take usually the third Rhino when to go that super fast, because if you, if you yeah, take sure. all, the, all the Rhinos, it's because you are going to make more really. It seems you don't need, because he went out like, uh, I try to remember, 21, but was the Scout plus Three fishes, it's well like 17 villages. 17 villages, 18 yeah, villages maximum on app. So yeah, yeah, he, 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 went, he, he, he went up on 21 populations. So we had 18 villages, two fishing ships, and yeah. one scout. So, so yeah, and obviously it's so nice having the fish as well because the fish were just gonna keep taking food and then he switched all of his eco over to gold and wood to make boats and he took it from there. Um, the food gathered obviously in bullets favor overall, but I feel like if you'd done a fast castle That would have been the counter to what Leary did there as you said um, And in the end Leary with a 50 villager high versus the 34 bullet. It's pretty tough to come back from that kind of situation um, Once the feudal age came in You could just see as soon as that feudal age hit look it's fairly even as soon as feudal age in for Leary It's just like downhill You see that on the yeah. uh, on the graph. That's pretty pretty interesting Normally, I don't get much from these graphs. And normally, like, I don't really see it can say much a value lot. of these it graphs. Can, it, it can say but a this lot. one does yeah. say a lot. Yeah. yeah. I like to check in one by one. In team games, it's almost impossible because there is so many colors and you don't see the the, the, the difference. But in one by one, it can say it can say a lot. And you, you can see how when, when, when he was feudal age, he literally got a really good amount already there. So the advantage, even if it's only one minute and twenty seconds, it was a lot. Really a lot. 